गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई ओके आई एम ओके आई नो यू आर पासिंग योर टाइम बीट लीज लेजी ले एट योर होम बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव मच वर्क टू डू वी आर बाउंड टू स्टे एट होम बिकॉज ऑफ वेरी मास ऑन ईजल सिचुएशन ऑफ द कंट्री गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई यू ओके आई एम ओके आई नो यू आर पासिंग योर टाइम बीट लीज लेजी ले एट योर होम बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव much work to do we are bound to stay at home because of very much on usual situation of the country and the world yet we need to prepare ourselves for our coming days our teachers are pro- providing you notes lecture classes and also live classes so that you can study at home <clears throat> today i will discuss with the topic transformation of sentences and it is simple complex and compound today i will discuss on how to transform a sentence from complex to compound <clears throat> you know there are two types of sentences one is according to sense and another is according to structure according to sense there are five ty- kinds of sentences there are assertive or statement sentence interrogative or question sentence imperative or word of command request sentence objective wishing sentence exclamatory and expressing emotion or excitement sentence according to structure there are three kinds of sentences they are simple sentence and here is example of is an example of this it is suppose personally i saw him it is a simple sentence you can see if you notice there is a difference between simple sentence and complex sentence and compound sentence so complex sentences you can see here in simple sentence this written personally i saw him in complex sentence you can see it is it is personally that i saw him and in compound sentence you can see that i saw him and it was personate now simple sentence what is a simple sentence a simple sentence is one that contains one subject and one final verb expressed or understood and a complex sentence is one that contains one principal clause with one or most subordinate clause example examples are given here compound sentence again a compound sentence is one that contains two or more indefinite clauses joined by coordinating conjunctions now whenever you study simple complex compound sentence that is complex or compound sentence you will see somewhere you need to use phrase somewhere you will use to use clause and phrase in simple sentence it is very much uh, used because in a simple sentence you have a clause and also use of phrase and already i have showed it in the previous sentences where this is the purpose so what is a phrase a group of words which make us which makes a sense but not a complete sense is called phrase it is actually some words which means a sense a meaning 
but not a meaning like a sentence. Now what is plus? A group of words which makes a sense or acts like a sentence. It is a clause. That means it is a sentence but it is used with a compound or a complex sentence. You can see in the previous lesson I, I told, showed it. Complex sentence. Example, it is for sooner that. You can see. I saw him. It is for sooner that. Before that, there is a sentence and before, after that, there is a sentence. And these two sentences are part of a complex sentence and that is why it is for sooner that. It is a clause. Now, I will discuss on detail about phrase and clause. You can see in this sentence, in this in spite of his having talent, he did not get the scholarship. The red mark portion is phrase. In spite of his having talent, you can see here there is no use of verb, but there are many words. And these words make it a sense, but it is not a complete sense. And that is why it is called phrase or shabdugutsha. And next, he did not get the scholarship, although he had talent. You can see, although here it is conjunction, and he did not get the scholarship, it is a clause, and he had talent, it is another clause. So I think you can understand what is phrase and what is clause. Now, in order to make a sentence complex or compound, we use some conjunctions. Uh, some very common conjunctions are here given you so that you can easily explain or understood unless you can easily understand which which types of sentence you are now studying in suppose in complex sentence conjunctions are seen as when that though although which what if whether how because so that blah blah and again it's con some conjunction of compound sentence are and but or therefore else however otherwise not only but also blah blah so be careful about use of conjunction con compound conjunctions are different from complex conjunctions since uh, i'll discuss today on how to change a sentence from complex to compound here I am trying to discuss it. You can see if in a complex sentence the use of so that he is so weak that he cannot he cannot carry the load. In compound sentence he is very weak and he cannot carry the load. So you can see how can we change so that conjunction take in complex sentence and and conjunction take it compound sentence this way another 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 example is so that so dot dot that the sum is so easy that i can solve it the sum is very easy and i can solve it next you can say so that in completing sentence i told it what is the purpose of so dot dot that and what is the purpose of so that? So dot dot that means atoche and so that means jate. So there is a clear conception about it. And when will you, it, you use so that? When will you use so dot dot that? It is clear. And another thing you must keep in mind about use, use of sequence of tense. If the principal clause is passed in past tense, the subordinate clause will be corresponding first. If the principal clause is present tense, the subordinate clause might be past tense, but usually it will be present or present type. And these are the rules which are uh, given. I think it is given in your book also, but I have some more ideas about it. Very most important thing for the students <coughs> about trans learning or practicing transformation of sentence, don't forget to use right form of the verbs. Nowhere can I 
can ignore using right form of, of the verbs. If you have, do any mistake, principal class, present tense, subordinate class, past tense, and there is no sequential uh, uh, similarity, it will be a wrong answer and your answer will be not be taken. So be sure whether you are writing correct tenses and also uh, correct um, process of presenting your sentences or word. And now here are some rules which already I have discussed. Again, these are first one if the sentence starts by seeing as when if you get any kind of sentence, this complex sentence is formed this way, then you will write. You can see since the weather was cold in compound center, the weather was cold, and so we could not go outside. And the, many more examples if the comp complex sentence start though, although in compl compound sentence, the conjunction will be but you can see though the man has mass thesis he wants more the man has mass thesis but yet he wants more though he worked hard past tense the principal class and he could not success in exam he worked hard but yet he could not so this is the mention of tenses and again if you will get related pronouns who which that and this time center i saw about who was deep i saw about boy and he was deep the man bought an umbrella which was green the bo the man bought an umbrella and it was green so you can see use of and and again you, if you see as since that in order in that there is a condition here if the complex sentence starts with as since in order that or that and if the second clause indicates the consequence of the first clause then suppose as he was ill he could not it, here he was ill he could not so there is a consequence he was ill and so he could not use and so okay the as the boy was truthful he was rewarded the boy was truthful so he was rewarded and so you can use it actually and so he was rewarded next these are also um, some more rules and i believe if you attentively study and also follow the rules other very important rules sometimes if you use if if plus affirmative in complex sentence uh, suppose you can see if you read more you will learn more read more and you learn more if you take regular exercise you can be healthy take regular exercise and you can be healthy and again you can see uh, if plus uh, if the sub, sub uh, sentence starts with if and there is a condition that if the subject of the second sentence is first or third person, you can see, if I rise early, I have enough time to read, you will sense the sentence, you will make the sentence compound let, using let, let me rise early and I have enough time to read. If he loves his neighbors, they will love him, let him love his neighbors and they will love him. Be serious about it. This rule is something. This rule is something different. So uh, when you practice it, when you learn it, and whenever you um, solve transformation sentences, read this rule and or follow this is. I have noticed that this rule is not given in advance or in our uh, book, which we gave you to study. So please carefully handle it. If he is at home, I shall meet him. He may be, this is another rule, he may be at home and in that case I shall meet him. If he helps me, I shall also help him. He may help me and this. Thank you a lot for being with me and I believe this, this lesson will be helpful for you. If you have any confusion, please don't hesitate to call me and uh, I will try to to describe it or explain it. Any kinds of question, any kinds of uh, any kinds of confusion. No, thank you a lot. Good luck, all of you.